excellent. Things are progressing. Boards are in, ready to be going up. Got windows in. And a bit of shower going in. Still plenty of work to do in here. And upstairs. So up here, this is the second one to be plastered out. Still drying back a bit. Not too bad. Need a bit of a rail around this. Yeah, not too bad. But the one I'm doing today is above the garage. So get down here. A bit vertical. Go and have a look in the garage. So in the garage, above the garage. So I've just got some stuff in there. Get this up. Bit of string in there I need to sort out. Some knots. I've already got some bits up. That's looking a lot different. Definitely drier. This corner. That's okay. We're all ready to paint now. A little bit of damper in the stairwell there, but that's all right. That'll coat up. Good. Quite dark and dingy down there. That took a while to dry out. That did. I've had to keep that door open the last couple of days. Okay, and this is what's going on. This is all I'm using. I'm not going to be using PVA on this, normal wood. But again, this is just above the garage. Just a bit of storage. But it will be heated. Okay. So, just a few bits I've got in my bucket there. Got my bin primer down at the bottom there for the woodwork. So I'll be doing some spot priming and I'll get that on. And then I can start with my mist coat. I'll thin this off. Because the woodwork, there's so far there's only this piece here and the staircase stringer. So I can get that coated up, get that sealed up. Thin that off. And then we'll start with the ceiling. These rebates. So when you're starting to paint, even your first coat, what you don't want to be doing is leaving thick edges around here. So we'll just have a look at our coat up areas like this. A little bit of cutting in, a bit of wiping off first, any plaster. But this is generally good all round. Okay, water and scraping sandpaper. I'm just gonna go around and clean up all these edges and remove any plaster off the surface. Prime this up. First of all, touching up any knots and then give the whole lot a prime. Then I can move on to the walls. Starting over on this side, ceiling and walls, working back this way. By the time I get over here, all this will be dry. I'll include this piece here. So I should imagine this will be getting carpeted or tiled. So just to the, bring the paint.
any splash marks that remain after scraping and with your sandpaper just go over and brighten that wood up the woodwork has been cleaned off and I've just started bringing all the dust to the centre of the steps so now I can work down and remove that dust the water I've got there with the cloth is for the piece of frame at the bottom which is already finished off and also for cleaning around the Bellops windows methylated spirits I'm going to wipe over and just remove any grease and any dust off that timber that's after I've cleaned up and I can coat it up the methylated spirits now I can just quickly go over the woodwork will do is just remove any of the last plaster and any dirt That's it basically, just keep going. So I got my Zinsa bin primer in my paint kettle and just going around touching the knots up. So whenever doing anything like that, if you're finishing with the grain that way then lay off your knots in the same direction so i'll just get a bit of a dip there and just on this side got these last few knots to do just touch them up these ones that are close to the plaster were there that one these they're okay Work up to it like that. Won't matter too much if it's gone onto the plaster because this bin primer is okay for sealing that. But I'm not going all over the plaster. I don't want to. Okay, that's all those done down there as well. The ones on top. So just wait those to dry. And I can prime it. While that's drying, I can now go around and just remove what bit of plaster there is left on the Velux. Ready for me 
Mist Codes. Only concentrating on the frame, the opening light. I'm not too interested in it at the minute. There's not really much on it. Little bits here and there. Get this ready for coating up. That's the frame cleaned. That's okay. So I got this opened up fully just to make it easier for myself. So down here, underneath, just see where it locks in there, and see this here. So, knock that back. And now, draw it back toward myself. There. And I try and locate it see so I've got that locked in that top one see there so now get it right okay yeah well they are open fully and it's locked just that one to do they're now clean Spot Prime is dry. Now I could just go over the whole lot. So, just get it on. Like I say, I'm not too bothered if I slightly go onto the plaster. That's okay. But if I was to be mist coating, going onto the wood, that would be worse. So I can get this wood sealed up and I won't have a problem. Now I can start bringing down the stringer. That's where I'm up to. And again, I'm not too bothered about going on the plaster, but I don't want to waste too much paint on there. So I'll just come up to it. Just like that, that's okay. And then follow it the same direction as you did your spot priming on the knots. And I'm using a pure bristle brush here. Brilliant brushes. I mean, see how I'm working this brush into the corners. The bristle stays nice. Doesn't start curling up on you and messing up. Just keep going. have to be fairly quick with this stuff and again this is only the primer but just make sure you finish it the same way that's the last of the string done now I can concentrate on getting some paint on the walls first of all get this thin white back then quick look over the walls and I'll mix some of that up, this up and when I say check over the walls so I've got the odd splash here and there little bits just sticking to the wall if I was to leave those on they will end up in the finish also around sockets I'm just going to clean up any loose that may get into my paint 
Yeah, sorry, there. Anything that's going to interfere with me, I'm going to sort out. But other than that, pretty straightforward. Usually, I would PVA the walls. I would give them a thin coat of PVA. That way, as I'm applying it, I can be cleaning off at the same time. Whereas with this mist coat, if I come started with my brush and roller, it'll be picking all the bits up and it'll be getting everywhere. So I'll address all this lot first and then thin me paint off. Overall, the ceiling's not too bad. There's not too many splashes on there. But I'm just wiping over with the cloth. Underneath the cloth, I'll be able to feel anything. Worst areas are going to be along these edges. So these couple of splashes that are here, like I say, I've got as my damp cloth. I'm just going to go over. And you can feel them as soon as you hit them, you hear and feel it there. Scrape it and it's gone. There's another one there. That's it really. Just keep going where you feel them. Sometimes they'll just come off with a thumbnail. And that's it basically. It won't take me too long. Just done that little bit. Okay. Oh, I've been around the walls, checking them over, cleaning any muck off. Quite annoying really, because I've been round and at the same time I could have sealed that with PVA, thin PVA. But never mind, this is what I've been given by my customer. I've got plenty of paint to work with, so we'll get that thinned down. So this is, like I say, what's going on. And to think, it, you just take a look here. Oh, come on. Take a look down here. One part clean water, five parts paint. So for this lot here, 10 litres, I'd want two litres of water in that. But I'm not using it all. I'm going to start off with roughly half of it. So I'll be adding a litre of water. Right. Paint scuttle. And I've got my paint kettle. I've got a stick for stirring. Three inch brush. And a medium pile roller. So before I do anything with this, wet this up. And the brush. ready to go. It's important we stir this up. Thorough mixing. Be quite thin on the top, thicker near the bottom. So lift that up. probably about 
and a quarter, I'd say that. Because I always, always mix up some more. Always better if you've got one of those so you can mix your paint in it. But I have not. Let's have a look at the consistency of it now. So not over thin, but thinned enough so that it will just want to run off the end. With my stirring stick. Okay, it's running more than dripping. That's good. And I've only mixed a small amount because I don't want to contaminate this. I don't want to be putting anything back in there. So whatever I mix in here, I'll mix enough so I can use throughout the day. If there's anything left, then I'll be using it in that other room. But Never put anything back in there that's had water in it. Okay? So now I'm ready for coating up. And I'm going to start with the recesses. And I'm going to work the ceiling. But I'm only going to work it up to the edge there. I'll tackle the walls in here. And then I'll take that ceiling down the staircase and do the walls in there. Because there's no break on the ceiling for all my transition will be here and then I can finish off down there get some on I've added a mini roller to this job just for the rebates around the window so Take a dip, work it on the side, remembering that this is quite thin. Always have a bucket of water and a cloth when you're working. And now just cut in. Knocking back the edges because this will soon dry off. Don't leave it too thick. Okay. Mini roller. And make sure that you rub that out. Not too much on it. You can always add more. And then roll this. Not coming too close to the edge. And as you're starting to roll and there's less paint in that roller, just gently come back to that edge. Okay, very lightly. And that way you get a crisp edge. And when you come back the other way, it'll be neat and crisp again. That's the window reveals done. Now I can start cutting in the ceiling and I'll just bring in the wall as well. I've got my knee pads on. 
dobbiamo spendere sano al fuoco ma quando stiamo facendo questo sempre non battiamo le stesse leggi non lasciamo alcune linee sul fuoco o sul fuoco find this a little bit awkward, oh this is a low ceiling, then here, a small pole, just take the end off, screw it in, now I can just load it, Flashing onto my face or my eyes. That's ceiling finished, both sides, 
and brought that piece of wall in. So when working around these reveals, same principle as doing the inside when you come to do the outside. Work up to it, dryish roller, work round. If you do go onto that edge and get a thick bit of paint, just wipe it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna start bringing this wall in. And the reason why I said bring it out enough is because I don't want my roller to be banging back into this. If you start touching that with paint, you have to start taking it off. It'll waste all that time getting a good finish up there. So I've brought it away from the corner enough. Just load the roller up. And then a little bit away from the corner. And just work back. And now I can roll up and I'm not going to touch that ceiling. Keep working that down. And then same again. A little bit of an awkward piece up to the corner there. Work some paint out the roller. Don't want to make it too tight in them corners there. Okay, that's good enough. Do touch the ceiling. Just make sure you don't leave any thick bits. I did cut in around this just to make it easier for rolling. Anything like this, I've cleaned back so it's nice and neat. The wires are behind the plaster. And I can just roll straight over that. And I'm not gonna pick up any muck and transfer it onto the walls. That's the last wall covered. Okay, these edges are looking all right. Got three in one steps. Now I can carry on cutting in the rest of this. With three and one, we'll be able to get onto the little bit of wall, the header at the end there, and just finish off. But all this woodwork's sealed. And it won't matter if I just slightly go onto that, I can wipe it off, no problems. I'll get this coated up. I'll see how dry the other place is looking. Got it three and one on the treads. And I've started cutting in, bringing it down. So when working on these, never go above the, okay? Got a little bit here and I don't want to lean forward otherwise you'll be down there. So a little bit at a time just take it down. Right, that's as far as I'm going with it. So now turn them into a pair of ladders onto the bulkhead and um, that's where I cut up to. I could just bring in that last little bit. Very easy to reach.
finally at the bottom there I've got my three in one now I can cut in the ceiling finish off cutting in the walls then I can roll the ceiling bringing in the walls either side finishing with the bulkhead just in case I need to get my steps back onto the longer pole now I can reach my ceiling and the walls and bring this lot down always laying off lightly remove those tram lines Less and less each time I put some on. It, final wall done so take this upstairs I'll see what I've got left in here and I'll have a look what I've got left in the uh, paint tub okay got about an inch of thinned paint there so that'll go toward the mist coats for the next room and then in here look how much I've used about a quarter of that left Roughly about a quarter left, yeah. Have well, we done all of this? And then down here. It's all done. Complete. On this side here, in this corner where there's not much air moving. Notice these patches again, that's where the dot and dab is. So it goes on a little bit greyer and then dries off. But that's okay, that's perfect. So we're just going to have a, another look at the other room, see how dry it is. And then brush into here, I'll clean them out, that's got my roller in. Cover this up, put the lid on that, and I'm off home. And that'll be used tomorrow. What a hole. Right, that's looking different, isn't it? A lot drier, little bits left, but that'll be alright in the morning. I've had my blower in, and I've had the windows open. So this is all day to dry. Like I say, it's just the odd little bit left, but 
better than this morning. Right, so off. Oh, come on. Gather that up. A good cable wheel that. 45 meter. Now I just need to close these up. Put them on the trickle vent. And these can stay like this tonight. I'm on following day and um, this is all prepped now ready for mist coating I've been round this one looking a bit damp been round and cleaned off any dry plaster just ripped round the edge of the floor there I mean you can use boards if necessary but something like that's just a bit quicker save a little bit of time if you drop anything so the paint I've left in here that's that's okay that's ready to go this is the one that I was using so now I can just add some water into that mix that up put it straight into here no point in wiping that back in there not for what it was worth I'm ready for using it again so any more I've got more paint if I need to but I'll mix that up and use this first no worries do a good job when it's finished both rooms all coated up now that's okay now I've used a complete 10 litres and you can see how much I've took out of that one so this is clean neat paint so I'll just move this here and show you what I've got left there now dribble in the bottom and in here not much at all so when I wash out with brushes and roller I'm just gonna wash all this lot out together not gonna use anything there not putting it back in there so I've not wasted anything at all not too bad so there was no staircase in this one so um, less paint and obviously I wasn't going to fall through this hole so that's what I've done so two reasons why obviously I've done that is one to stop me dropping through it which is the most important and then two to stop any paint getting down there so I'll show the reason why so I've took them back you can see the loft steps there loft ladders Take a look at this. I'll be cleaning this, I reckon, definitely. So look at all them plaster splashes. So that's why I covered it. See, they're going to get replaced all this, so this will be getting cleaned. And you know who's going to be doing that. So, yeah. too bad I can just clean all that lot out now I'm sorted oh look at me I've got a hole to fill 